Yo-ho! Hey, it's Sunday! <laughs> oh, God. I cannot begin to try and describe how much I've tried to switch off from the lake. But it hasn't really been possible. I've been sort of autopilot on it. Well, I haven't. You know, obviously I've been getting on with, with life, if you like. Um, but yeah, I've... Like me, me, me uh, in the back of my mind, I've been thinking about what's she doing, where's she at, is she busy in that spot, is she getting some food, you know. Uh, they've had two nights on their own, and I am sneaking down on the Sunday, so I left here Friday morning, at, well, afternoon by the time I'd got all that bait out, and uh, yeah, so they've had Friday night, Saturday night, and all of today with it. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sneaking down there, it is now around, at, what is it, 20 past two. So I'm hoping I can get there in a couple of hours, get there for about 20 past four, and hopefully be able to get loaded, get round there, get straight onto the rods, sort them out before anything, and get a couple of rods out accurate. Um, but, you know, who knows, the wind could be blowing hard, and the, um, you know, I might not make it because of traffic, you know, uh, there might be someone in the swim, who bloody knows. Um, I, uh, one of my mates was down there last night, old Taffy Boy, um, I know he was on there on his own, um, so hopefully, yeah, he's gone today, so hopefully that means that I might have the place to myself tonight. Um, so, yeah, that's it, I've got the full moon this week, I'd be lying if I didn't think, you know, this could be my last sort of chance, really, to sort of say, you know, she's she is a big moon fish. So if I had everything building up to one session, this is it. I honestly believe that you know this could really be my my chance at her or my last chance at her uh, of the season. Who knows? You know, it might happen in December. God knows. But you know, confidence is high. Um, confidence is high for obvious reasons, you guys have seen these vlogs, building up, building up, getting bites, getting bites, spots getting bigger, spots getting harder, and catching the right fish, you know, everything sort of says, hopefully it's just a matter of time, fingers crossed, and I've even found this week, it's like an omen, I've, so basically this weekend, is yesterday, I just, uh, I'm having an extension done on my house, and there's a garage at the side of my house, it needs to come down, it's full of crap, all stuff that you just collect um, from life and fishing and everything, just all bunged in there. And this weekend I've sorted that out, so it's pretty much all ready to come down now, minus getting a few bits out, but it's organised. Um, and among sorting it, I sorted out loads of fishing kit of that, and among sorting it, I found this little bad boy. This is my lucky mascot for this week. I did have it with me a couple of years ago, carried it around in my waders. My brother found this after I caught the baby black um, a couple of seasons back. We, me and my brother did a session on stone acres together. I had a nice fish and that, and it, it was either, I think it was at the end of that session he found this on the car park on stone acres at Winch Hill, and he went, "That's a sign. Keep it with you." And I haven't had it with me since a couple of seasons ago when I was on the uh, on uh, after the crop, and I found this and I put it in my camera bag. So. Hopefully, this is a lucky omen as well. Um, and then, yeah, today I've done a load of bits of work that I've had to do, so think food-wise and that, organised staffing and orders and invoicing and all that. Bashed all that off this morning. Just been and had a lovely Sunday roast with um, uh, a few of my friends and um, with my mum and dad and that down at the local. No booze, though. I'm still off the booze. That's why I look so fresh. <laughs> um, and yeah, as soon as that food went down, I was like, check please, we're going. <laughs> and here we are, on our way. Bait is in the back prepped, the tackle's prepped, and I've even stopped off at the unit, got myself this, <laughs> which is the door to my brolly. Some people might be like, Ooh, now, but if you've seen the last couple of vlogs, or I don't know where this sits in vlogs, this could be the start of one or in the middle of one, but if you've seen all this fishing previous, you've seen some of the stuff that I'm doing and getting absolutely battered and bruised 
by, you know, I am beaten, uh, you know, and a, and a front door wouldn't go bloody miss at the minute, especially the angling that I'm doing. I'm not too sure if I said the end of the last one a couple of days ago that I need to get it. Um, yeah, I need something to try and keep my comfort levels up a little bit because that was hard work, especially on these big sessions. Everything wet and windy and dripping and, you know, it's not nice. You know, it's nice to be a little bit comfortable. Um, which goes against everything I usually say because I like to be uncomfortable um, that's why I like to use a brolly so I don't sleep heavy I don't get lazy I don't zip the door up and all them things um, that is when I'm tracking car you know so through the spring and the summer and even for any time of year but in the minute the way I'm doing this campaign and this lake in particular it's definitely not one of them lakes it's not a reactive sort of hear this happen get down there do that sort of lake uh, I'm sure you guys can probably um, uh, see that with what you've seen me doing so far I've become a I'm doing this now bait and wait so there's not really anywhere that I'd need to be moving or going I've basically I'm committed I'm committed to this swim so I can face it so what I've had to do with the southwest that I've been blowing is facing away as you probably saw you know I'm not you know it's nice to be able to look out see if they're there see if they're not there so I've got the broey I've got the front for the broey I'm gonna get it on get myself facing me water and be able to just basically stare the stare the bull grab the bull by the horns stare the bull in the eyes I don't know I don't know what, what the gift horse in the mouth <laughs> I'm trying to come up with some sort of one but basically yeah I want to walk where I'm fishing and be able to just face it and, and um, yeah I can't think of what I'm trying but yeah stand true and proud and face it um, see that croc show before I get that bite it's gonna happen in the night anyway isn't it let's be honest um, everything's in the night can't be you know it's not it's not been the greatest of vlogging, I'd imagine, from your point of view. There's a lot going on. Uh, probably stuff that you can pick up and learn from and stuff like that, maybe, or hopefully, but um, and, and maybe, I don't know, this, you're probably just laughing your heads off at how much I'm getting butchered by these fish, but it's all been in night mode, that's what I mean. A lot of it's happening through the night, so I can't get bites on camera and all that. And not that that's what it's all about, but it's nice to see that bottom, you know, playing the fish and that. There's not a lot of great deal of that. I do apologise, but here's what it is. That's the card you dealt in the autumn. Um, that's that. I'm gunning for it. I've blabbed on for far too long. You ain't going to see me until at least them rods are out because this kit's getting loaded and getting around there. Unless there's something in that swim. Please, please be free. Please make it down there in one piece. And please be traffic free so I can just cruise beautifully down there and get there just before dark. Come on, the crocodile! Well, <coughs> get there before first, uh, first light, last light. I think that dream is well and truly over. <coughs> Took a little diversion, didn't I? Thinking I was clever, trying to save 10 minutes. Backfired big time. Country roads. Three tractors in front of me. Not one, not two, but f three. Oh well. Still got like a week out of me fishing, and I who can cry about it? <laughs> oh, I'm happy now because the uh, tractors have just turned off. Come on, let's have it! I've been literally just had like 10 miles of them, at least seven. Let's go! I'm doing 120! <laughs> Come on now! I'm only about half an hour away. Getting giddy! Come on, the crocodile Leo! Right, we is here. We have made last night, but obviously the rods aren't gonna. Pull that bag down. But some of the, you might not have noticed yet, but I noticed as soon as I walked on the pond, because there's no boys. There's one right over there in the distance. There's nowhere near near me. They've moved them all. Basically, that's because the swimmers take a shorter route now. Getting colder, which is absolutely lovely times. Not only is it less danger out there, just in case they were to strip you and go round them, even though I was fishing nowhere near them. The main thing is, is I can fish the exact same spot now from this swim to the left. 
which basically means ain't such fingers getting timed out in this swim on this spot because it's well left out of here and it's well right out of there I'm buzzing right that's really good I'm not going to be too doomy and gloomy getting timed out of here now because I know I can fish the same spot you know what if someone was looking at getting in here then it might be a better one of them but I don't think they'd be fishing that far left everyone fishes out this way I'd gather towards the bars and all that sort of crap but what it has done as well is open this area right up over here there was a boy here before whereas now there's absolutely nothing no danger anywhere that is sick that opens not only that spot up that i've been baiting but also all that area there for me talking to tomorrow ain't gonna mess about tonight i'm just gonna get my rods out two on that lovely zone of mine and we'll see how i feel about getting a third out but i'm massively pumped already it, it's not a rush because when you rush things go wrong inevitably something's going to go wrong anyway but um is it focused i don't know but it's going dark yeah things go wrong inevitably anyway but yeah if a rush things could go wrong now i've got loads to do i want everything to be perfect so hopefully within the hour i'll have a couple of rods out there rocking super confident the wind's just a nice trickle i mean it's strong but it's only a trickle considering what i've got at a mountain before so i'm going to stop yapping get my kit in a swim get the rods prepped and get them the out there because this is sick I'm buzzing come on I am just gonna do quickly is um get the bait out while it's still white I've got some eye lines so yeah that's standard finger store on just prepped a little bit of bait stomped all over a load of manila put a bit of maize in there even if I get six bombs out I'm happy Lovely time. Right, got another five or six out and game on. Look at me, old posh. Skating boards and what? Look at that, edgy. Got my three lines coming in. Bit of rain's just started coming. It's already got its first bit of damage, which was unfortunate. Which is there, because the hook got caught in it. I mean, it's always asking for it, isn't it? Um, but yeah, sorry, the baby had to take the hit. <laughs> yeah, so I like a fine mesh. I'll probably take that off if I can, show it. Yeah, it looks like it comes off. Yeah, it does. So well, that bad boy will be coming off. Yeah, apart from that, huh? Bivy life. What you saying? I can disco and everything. No one knows what's going off. Oh, it's going to get freaky tonight. <laughs> right, rig time. Get these rig sorted. Blast them out there. Let's do it. Day is out there. And they is rocking. Strangely confident. <laughs> um, really shouldn't be on a place like this. Um, but obviously with recent <laughs> sort of events, it's hard not to be, especially when I'm getting them beautiful drops and that. Did take a few casts. Um, a few on each rod really. Right hander was a bit of a drama. Got a wind knot in it. Uh, new braid and all that, isn't it? So uh, yeah, I got a wind knot in that right hander. But, you know, didn't let it frustrate me. Brought it all in. Cut the wind nut off. Where is it? Could have chucked it in here somewhere. Cut the wind nut off. Um, oh yeah, there it is. Ta -da! Cut the wind nut off. And um, started again, re-wrapped it. Just tied the leader on. Jobs are good and now she's out there. Um, be nice if that was the one that went and did the deed, wouldn't it? <laughs> Who knows? But I'm out, I'm buzzing, I'm fishing catch or not tonight especially you know this is almost like a little bit of a brucey bonus night um so it'd be nice wouldn't it but you never know we are big pit well stock but can't help but feel slightly confident bit of bait and free rigs out there <laughs> oh let's see what the night brings brew time he thinks well <laughs> It's eight o'clock. <laughs> I've had a bite already. It's not a bad fish. I haven't properly looked at it yet. It looks like it were a bad fish. Oh, I don't know. Maybe not. Oh yeah. What is it? 
Oh, it's a, definitely a 30 pounder, that's for sure. Yeah, we'll get a shot of him. Got to get the rods out first though. Right, the scales are out. Got the waist swing. And the old uh, retainer underneath. And I just thought I'd mention this, the last fish that ever went in this retainer was the Burfield Common. <laughs> um, just tied down my garage this weekend. And uh, yeah, I came across it and I thought, you know what, I'm going to start using it. Pull out all the stops for the big girl here, eh? So yeah, I've got that retainer out, but I'm going to get her out, wire her up, put her in the retainer and deal with what I'm going to do. 31 dead. Sorry the view's not great. I'll give you a view of her now. Lovely carp, absolutely mega head on it. Look at that, lovely carp that one. Why do I feel like I've had it? Check it in a bit, I don't think I have actually. I don't remember that head. Sick head, aren't you mate? Big head, oh yeah, sick. How mad is that? Can't believe it man, what's going on? Mental. Right. Obviously, just doing it right, I suppose. It's madness. Like, they are like so responsive to this baiting. Obviously, no one else is doing it, maybe, or just right area, God knows what. It's all coming together. Hopefully, she's just a number away. How many we don't know, <laughs> if it, if at all. But all we've got to do is just keep doing what I'm doing, and just landing them. It's man, man, madness! Like, I'm literally like shocked. Um, trust me, this 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 place is not easy. Like, right? I'm not even trying to like big it up, so I'm like, you know, trying to make myself up better. Like, this is hard, hard going, and that way like, it is. I don't know, I, I don't know, maybe I'm just overthinking it and and I am working hard and it is hard and I don't know, but at the minute they're very tame and I'm just going to keep going with it, I don't even know what I'm talking about really, I'm just, <laughs> just, just got to keep going haven't I, but um, yeah, let's take the positives, not that there's any negatives, apart from I took one of the other rods out, but back out there now, so there's two rods out there. I'm gonna sit on these for a minute. For sure. Went out in one cast, so I'm happy with that. I thought oh, I'm not gonna try and mess about trying to squeeze the third one on at least for a minute. Sit on that and see what happens. <sighs> madness. Absolute madness. Cup of tea, tie some rigs. It's bloody what? Half eight now? I mean, half a mind to. Oh, I don't know yet. I might redo this one and the one I just chucked back out. A bit. I don't know. We'll wait up in a minute. Right. Just got a couple of self takes with her. Not sure how they turned out, but we'll see. There you go. Is this your head or is this your tail? Or? There's your tail. <laughs> oh, it's trying to power out. Not that much. Right, there we go. Sick head on him. Sick head. Like a big square head. Go on. A big carp under you, boy. Big carp. Go on that way. That's it, good girl. <laughs> Don't ask me what's going on with what I've got another one. This is absolutely mental. And this is one of the ones that I wanted as well. Like if I could pick and choose. Uh, I'm not sure if he's got a name, I'll just call him like the little winner. Um, seen him quite a lot with the big girl. I was starting to 
starting to doom a little bit like I wasn't on the right group of fish but now I've got that one in the net um, I definitely think I could be so I've just got to keep going at it and just hopefully she turns up obviously that was the plan anyway <laughs> but um, I wasn't going to give up um, based on me thinking she wasn't on the, visiting the spot but yeah that just sort of solidifies everything really um, I'll show you in a minute I'll get some proper pics of this one the other one I sort of just gave up on it because it was being a bit of a muppet um, I had a look back at the selfie and I got one that was half decent weren't great in focus um, but I didn't really try once I sort of um, she, she was flipping about a bit and I was just causing ag and I just thought you know what do I really need a self taken so I put it down and gave up on it um, got an half decent one so that'll do something to show you what we got remember it all welcome all welcome I'm gonna um To get these both these rods back out now. Just got to rewrap. Just got to rewrap this one, and they're both clipped up, ready to go. Still got one rod out there on the dance floor. That's what we're here for, boy. Look at that, mate. On the manila, boy. Oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Get on the manila. Me little gun driller. Sick of him, isn't he? Yeah. Yes, boy. These are the ones we're here for, lad. It's not the biggest fish in the world, man, but he's a cool car. I've seen him in the snags. We got mid 20. 26 bang on. Six. Six. Hopefully, no crocodiles out there. Get that headlight off, eh? Don't want to be that dickhead. <laughs> What's she saying, Led? Yeah, that's the one. Is he alright? Yeah. <laughs> Sick. Right, let's get some stills, mate. <laughs> Sick. That's the one, mate. Proper one, this one, mate. I'm not giving her another kiss. I did give her a kiss, but yeah. the man on the camera forgot to press record. <laughs> <laughs> a lick at this time. All right, let's get it back, mate. Mega, mega buzz up. Sick. Here she goes. Get your big, big brother. Sick. I'm gonna stop these updates. I am. Literally lost for words. And that's not like me. This is literally coming together real nice. Like, she needs to be out there. Like, they're clearly troughing that bait. I mean, what goes without saying. <laughs> But look at it, crapping it out on the mat like she's got to be out there. Numbers game. That left hander just then went sick. Just went boom down. Like uh, so. Oh, man. Come on, girl, be out there. <sighs> Never been through so many rigs. Ridiculous. All oh, this wind just look too like calming off now. So you know if it flattens off I'll redo them all. Like that left hand is rocking but whoa. Such a it's not easy getting them out there in that, that wind and that in the dark, I ain't gonna lie. But obviously it's working so you know but there's nothing better than having them all absolutely rocking on the dance floor. And look what happens when it does, I double quick as that. 
Like if I've got, I need to capitalise on these windows. And hopefully just keep coming back until there's just one left. <laughs> and it's there, like, come on. Just hopefully she's visiting us. Us? Me. Just gonna tie up a couple more of these super noodles. I tell you, I can't knock this rig. You cannot knock this rig. It is doing the do. Like, I'd, if I was going to build up confidence in a rig, this is how to do it. Wow. Be interesting to see how it works on other gaffs and see if it's uh, other gaffs, other places, and see if it is a, a, a you know big difference. You know, it feels like everything that's buddy comes in the, within the vicinity of me is getting up. It's like, like. Almost made me question whether we were getting done so much more, but I'm sure it's just this hard work just paying off now and whether they've had hinges or whatever. Who knows if I would have caught as many or maybe more, but one thing's for sure, this one's working. Mental. Got a pot noodle brewing in the background there actually. Hey, <laughs> cheeky mushy lid. Sick. Just had a little uh, late night recast. The wind literally dipped off nice. It's still warming, don't get me wrong. It's uh, 147. It's about, about quarter past when I wound them all in, wrapped them up. Only put two out this time because I've got a sick drop on the left. And the other one definitely went on the right hand side because it was softer. Um, but it went down and then bump. So I'm happy that them two are really fishing like fishing the asses off. Um I wanted to do it because that wind got savage earlier. Wasn't sure if they were hundred percent bang on a noodle left hander was was sweet, but it's always tricky night casting. Um with a big wind and at quite a distance. So um yeah it dipped off and the moon's just beautiful. Let's see if you can see this. Look at that. Let's see if we can see it without the night shot on. Yeah, there you go. I mean, there's no white. And you guys can see the far horizon. I've got no white on there. Look at that moon, just whiting up everything. So if you listen, just a little bit of a ripple on. So it's lovely. For casting. There we go. And that's why I've done it. Um, and I'm glad I did because I wound in a bloody cray leg uh, on one of them. I even took a picture on my phone to be fair. Let's see if you can see this. Mm, there he is. <laughs> Look at that. There you go. One crayfish leg. How would you like that served, sir? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Lovely times. Just about getting some light now. <sighs> Lovely. Um, I've been up since since I last sort of spoke to you guys. It was about two o'clock, I think. Um, yeah, I've been tying rigs and all that. I know I've got to get these rigs sorted this morning before this wind kicks in. So yeah, that's the plan. Um, rigs are all tied more than enough. Um, hopefully, well, hopefully not. <laughs> but yeah, I've got about seven or eight tied. <coughs> that should see me through. Um, at least tonight, anyway. Um, obviously, cray chucks and all that. Um, <coughs> yeah, plan is to at least get the bait done. Um, yeah, I'm going to start prepping the bait soon. I need to get back round to the van because I didn't put everything on on the barrier yesterday, you know, obviously trying to get round to get the, <coughs> beat the white to get the bay out. So I need to get me barbie, because I've got a few barbie bits, and um, need some more dissolvable foams, a bit more bait, and stuff like that, just so I can literally anchor down for a few days. Um, <coughs> haven't got a shoot off at all. So yeah, that's the plan. Um, get round there, get back round, get the bait out accurate first, as best I can. Um, before the wind kicks in, then get the rods out, and I'll sit out with them rods out all day. 
Um, if there's a lull in the wind later on in the day before dark, if we get that little lull, I will redo them. However, if not, probably going to sit through it and hope that the craze have left me alone or the rigs are still at least fishing um, because um, yeah, I ain't going to get them out any better in a big wind. So that's the plan. And this is how we do it, B. <laughs> Only got one on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Big swap. Oh, yeah. Sick. Right then, baiting time. Rise and shine, it's baiting time. Time to get messy. Right. <sighs> I'm not going to be able to get any um, sort of, uh, what's it called, um, stuff outside because it's raining and I don't want to get you all wet, do I? <laughs> um, but yeah, a few super noodles going out. Obviously, I'm not sure if I mentioned, like, I will use this with the noodle kickers. I'm only using it with the uh, recoil at the minute just because um, of the crayfish. Obviously this recoil won't keep its shape as good as the um, the kickers will. And uh, you know, getting a consistent dip length and things like that, you know, so just easy with the kickers, but um, obviously cray proof at the minute. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap them up and get them out. As good as you're gonna get is probably, as good as I'm gonna get, it's uh, probably doing the casting and that's about it. Oh, someone at my door. Ooh. What's going on here? Hello. Hi. Is that better now? Yeah. Look at this. Uh, to be honest though, I was just going to get everyone to appreciate me being in a broly. <laughs> oh, that was good one, it, Scott. Well done, mate. Oh, that will be the wind and that weed. Dun, 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 dun. Chainsaw, Madgery door. Well, that's a bit annoying, but yeah. Look at me. <laughs> I'm a new man. Tell you what, if this lake were f hard enough as it is, I've got moards that now decide that they can dive like 900 feet. They're picking me up. Look. What the f is going on? I'm literally picking my rigs up at that range, at that depth. It's like 11, 12 foot out there, like what the f off? Are you joking me? Look at on the proper six of back. Oh, oh my god, they're picking me up. So backwards. Look at them, boosh, they're like tufties, they're worse. I tried spawning at them. The seagulls are loving them, they're loving the seagulls, they're helping the seagulls. Right, so, oh yeah, we'll dive down and get it, you can have halves, innit? Oh, they're doing my head in. Voila, just like that. They were gone. Zero duckage in the area. Can't tell you what I did, but that was pretty sick. All I did was stood up and he flew off. It's a mad ad. We're in a bit of a predicament. The wind is calming down. I 
kind of. Don't live to uh only to have a go at trying to get them out again just because them birds have picked me up or just leave them thinking I should leave them that was the plan the resetting rigs if anything it tells me they're on the spot you know yeah gonna leave them that was the plan if I, if I redid them now and I had a mare or something, I'd be cursing, or if I didn't catch anything, oh, I should have left them, the fish might have been there, because they might be here now, who knows, you know, I've been getting bites early, haven't I, you know, it's getting on, it's nearly four o'clock now, so, can't imagine them being in that, in that uh, bay, so they could quite easily be on the way here now, so, yeah, I've just talked myself into it, yeah, keeping the rods out, by the way, just so you know. <laughs> I've got the old minted lamb burgers and some minted lamb steaks. I'm only having two of them, no, there's four in there. Uh, I am mad excited for this. Double lamb cheeseburger. Never had cheese with lamb. But them minted lamb steaks are going to be the one, aren't they? Can't help but figure what's good for a bite. Come on. Just in case I get a set up, eh? Get a set up, you never know. Boom. Oh, this is looking pretty decent. Oh, double minted lamb cheeseburger and some minted lamb steaks on the side. Oh my god. I know your mouth's watering right now. <laughs> Mine certainly is. Oh, cheese is ready to go. Got a sick little dessert on the go there. Little chocks bun. Oh, oh boy. Go. What we saying then? Double minted lamb cheeseburger and a side of minted lamb steaks. That's in hell, it's man. pretty special. I know his mouth's boring. Man's is jealous at home right now. Sick weather rolling in. Adorable heavy man. Well done, lookers and watch as the tiger slowly circled in on it. According to many bystanders, the tiger only became agitated when people began throwing stones at it. Once the tiger reached the young man, he did. Great in.
Come on, Jim. Took some wine off me, that did. Wow. Right, I'm going to disappear. Oh my god, it's the male. This is a sick fish. This is big. She is big, man. Wow. 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 That is a big, big carp. <laughs> sick. Sick. That beasted me. That that's a big carp. I don't even know how big that is. She's big. That's a 40 pounder. Get in! Get the f in there! Stick her in a retainer, but I'm gonna get a quick weight on her. See what she's saying. It's 40 pounder like I would have said. Well yeah, I need to get her in a retainer quick time because mate the croc could be out there. I'm telling you now it could be out there. I'm not going to weigh her properly, do her in a bit, but I just want to get her round about weight. So, let's go and get the male. That beasted me. Wow. Ah. Woo. Wow. He's a beast. Wow, look at that rig, it's gone through and back out the neck. And in the neck. <laughs> wow, get some scissors. Where is she? Scissors, 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 quick. Net's getting cut. Don't do that, girl. You're caught in the net. Hi, net. This is more important than the bloody net. Wow gone in and through. That's mental. Wow, she won't go in anywhere. What a gob. Wow. Sick. What a car. I'll give you a quick view of this. That is impressive. Look at the gob on that. Uh, don't know if you're gonna see the rest of this, but come on, girl. Oh. Yeah, you ain't got no fight left in you. He's big, big car. Wow. Tail on it is amazing. Oh, right. Here we go. It's just under forty four pounds. Oh my days! That's sick! Oh god! I am buzzing! Good girl! Mwah. Look at the whips on her! Sick! In case you can't tell, I am buzzing! Oh. Getting this retainer! Wow! Look at that. Insane. Insane.
Look at that gob, lad. Look at that gob. That is insane. Look at that. What are you doing? Look at that. Powerful fish, this. Wow. And what? I wonder if I nicked the last week there. Look. This time I got right in the bottom, but it's that sort of slice there. Oh boy. Right, I'll have this retainer out, uh, Milo. You on me? <laughs> on about the gob, look at that. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> sick. Sick, sick, sick. Wait, mate, that's been lost, that. You said it actually beasted you, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Let's have the old way in. Right on Scott. Joe. <laughs> right, mate. What's the scores? Oh, who's higher? What? She's saying. He's reading it. Do you want me to read it? Yeah, well, you're that side. 40. 44, 14. 44, 14. I oh, know, sorry. For, that bang on 44, isn't it? Yeah. Bang on 14. 44. 44. Like ounces, like two ounces. Yeah? Is, yeah. Happy? Sick. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Wow. Doing that breathing thing again. <laughs> I guess right, you get me some stills central. after done, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. If you can come off my eye level, Joe, if you can. Got another way. Yeah, mate. Right. <laughs> oh, come on, girl. Behave. <laughs> That's an impressive fish. Absolutely beasted me. <laughs> no wonder. Look at that tail and them pecs, man. Insane. Look at them. Look at them, man. side of the scale look at the width of it there we go nice one mate sounds and go for a lift oh there it's it Still. Oh. Oh, there's it. Oh. Make it too wet. Stay wet. Okay, mate. Get it. There we go. Look at that. Much shaky, shaky. How about that then? <laughs> wow, that was pretty crazy. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I'm a bit lost for words, and that's not like me. But one thing I will say that um, it really surprised me that fish. Didn't surprise me that it beasted me, but on the bank it was definitely one of them fish that um, when I saw it in the water. I thought, buddy, I'll look at the tail on it, but it never really appealed to me like, you know, like one of them, the male, the male, the male, the male, like I am with the croc, obviously. Um, um, but I, I, I think I, don't, I never really seen pictures that have massively done it justice. Um, you know, obviously there's nice pictures of it, but like, it, it, you know, that's probably the wrong way of putting it. The right way to put it is, seen it on the bank it's one of them fish where when it's on the bank it's like Whoa. plus i think i just had the absolutely lethal battle with it and all that and you just think this is a serious serious carp even like when i like when it was flipping on the map and it 
push me chest up, you know, like the power of it. You know, that's impressive. You know, it's not all about looks with a fish, is it? Um, although it is a seriously sick hooking carp as well. But yeah, the power of it, the, the rudder on it. Um, I was chatting to uh, one of my mates and he said it used to be called the rudder, obvious reasons. Um, yeah, obviously they call it the male now. Um, and yeah, pex, massive, gob, massive. Um, but yeah, what was interesting was the little nick in its, uh, in its scissor. I'm open, fingers crossed, well I'm not open but I am as well, of course, that that's the one that I lost last week because it did all them exact same things apart from it obviously it uh, back dropped and once I got connection with it it was like, you know, like the mad jolting run. Not too sure how much I picked up on that, um, on the I got the take didn't I on, um, on the night mode. Mad I would just set it up really and it just... the fish that's because it's play, replaying my instant story that I'm about to post or what have you so but yeah it was stripping line and that wit it was like it was mad it was like that one the other night where it just decided to go off when the wane re, the wane the rain was at its worst um this one was like the wind was blowing like it is now heavy but all of a sudden it just started gusting and gusting and gusting and gusting the bro is going and then all of a sudden the rod's gone and like it's like it was waiting for this mad wind and to strip that much line upwind. Absolutely, I am working my buttocks off to uh, keep these um, keep these lines fishing. Um, but yeah, you can see these uh, see the waves lapping in, mate. It's um, it's pretty heavy. But yeah, another one in, 17 bites. Um, I can only think that hopefully she's not too far away. Come on, the crocodile. Sick weather, this is. I'm putting a rug over there in time, too. Little morning update, little morning update. Uh, yeah, nothing else has happened. I've got a little bit of a, just a trickle in the wind now. Um, so as much as it might feel or look like bite time to most, um, and sort of still is on, 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 on any lake, but this lake as well, I'm willing to sacrifice it to get this bay out accurately. So it's just coming light now. Well, just come light. Turn my headlight off. Just come light. But yeah, I've got to get some bait into this swim um, and accurately. So bait's going to go out and then I'm going to bring these rods in. Um, very much doubt they're fishing anymore. Tried to keep the weed off as much as I could. They might be. They, you know, I'm sure they would have dragged. They'll still be fishing. But yeah, nothing, nothing else happened anyway. So yeah, plan is I'm gonna get this bait out, get the rods out of the water, get round to the van, I'm gonna get some storm poles, I'm gonna get the rods right out of the water with the tips right down. So I haven't gotta mess around as much um, with the weeds coming through the swim and um, possibly even some back to try and keep it down, stop them lines knitting and things like that just because I've, I've been having dramas basically. It's not been easy, that big wind, and it's going to get to sort of 18, 20 mile an hour again later on. Um, and yeah, we're not going to get a dip in it. And uh, yeah, hopefully just leave them sitting pretty all day, keeping the weed off and things. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be fishing. If I do get an unwell in the wind before dark, as it sometimes happens, might sacrifice. So same stuff again. I'm I'm chatting the same shit here. Um, just got to keep repeating the process. And hopefully that big girl rocks up. Big, big full moon tonight. Come on. See you later.
later. <laughs> Swear to God, that was my last one. <laughs> Typical. See if I can pick it up with one of these lines. We got them. Woo. Sweet. Come back. Happy days. And uh Basically, um, I'm not too sure how much I said earlier, but yeah, I re-edited. I got the same spot, but from the pole there, shortens the cast. Ocadilio pierced him through. Look at that, sick. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, uh, I can put the rods out there, dig the tips down deep and hopefully try and combat that bit, that weed build up. Um, so yeah, just literally, I know it's all a big change, you know, people might be thinking, bloody hell, messing, you, you know, you're getting bites and all that, but, you know, I've spotted a problem. I didn't have rods fishing basically how I would have, they might have been fishing. Uh, I can't just say just because I didn't get a bite they weren't fishing, but common sense tells me that weed was, a tro was an issue last night. Uh, it was last time when it cut me off and had to back to back grinner during fight because I'm a ninja. <laughs> um, yeah, it was it was an issue, so I'm uh, I'm adapting and overcoming. So that's the plan. Um, it's actually nicer, you know. It's, like it's took a wrap off, really. It's took a wrap off. It's about a rod length and a half further out in the water where I'm casting from. But it's only took a wrap off for the spot because the wind's harder. So you you, you know if that makes sense I'm a rod and a half out further but it's only took a wrap off where I, where I want to be because the wind's getting that bow in the line if you like so yeah this is the plan now rigs are all going out for the day like I said and I'll probably put some fresh bait over the top with the big spawn because it's only it's only sort of um, you know it's a lot less the birds are out on me anyway diving so um, yeah I'll get the rods out and a bit of bait sit here all day if I do get an opportunity later on I'll redo them if not hopefully we can stay out Shears doing bits strapped up, tips down, strapped up. She ain't going anywhere. Look at that. Yeah, last thing I want is them tips coming up and the rod hovering. You know what I mean, losing a rod and all that. But yeah, doing it. What are we saying? Shoot, look at the angle. Tips right down, out the way of the weed gonna get a little bit of weed build up here no doubt but I'll just keep coming getting rid of that crap happy days hopefully that keeps some fishing Sick. thing to be honest because um they might, um, they might do one now and not come back, so I'd rather it happen now than later on, on dark or something, you know. So, uh, hopefully they won't come back now, but stranger things have happened. Just tying some rigs. I got a feeling I'm going to be able to get these rods sorted um, in a bit. So, uh, I'm just sort of preparing for that to happen. Sick! Never know, my guy, they bite now. 
the mental conditions now. I mean, look at this, I'm bibbing up in the water now. <laughs> oh, it's coming in. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> oh, I'm going to be underwater by the morning, that's for sure. Here comes the rain. I was literally uh, just sen sensing a little dip in this wind, and I was right, it dipped a little bit. Um, not so much now, it's picked back up a bit, but it gave me enough time to get them wet in precise, like from that stick. Um, you know, because as you go forward, obviously your wraps change, but as you go forward also, um, you because you, you, you're getting close to the spot, your, your horizontals slightly move as well sometimes, especially if you're weighed out on an angle or what have you. So, um, but yeah, I've got the exact wraps. Uh, obviously, it's a lot shorter, a bit better for baiting as well. Um, and um, and yeah, I've got uh, basically I've got the perfect wraps, and the spot is like. Argh! I know exactly where they want at all three rods and I won't stop. I don't care if I've got to do 30, 40, 50 casts per rod to get it land them where to landing because tonight is the most important night. But they're all important, but the moon, all that, catching that one last night, all these things all coming together to these next couple of nights really, hopefully this session. But you know, every night's important, I shouldn't say that really, but you know, you just keep going and going and going and going and going until it's right. But yeah, I've got to um, put a little bit more bait out now with a big spawn because we can get it out there. Um, it's a bit of ag because I can't get my bucket around the pole and all that. It's just a pain with it bouncing in the wind and it'll just pull the pole out. So walking back into a little bit of fuss, but worth it. I'm going to get hopefully sort of 10 big spawns out accurate and I'll be happy and I'll just slowly get the rods prepped, rigs and all that sort of, and then just wait for them little walls and hopefully. Ready for the crocodilio! Sick! I'll tell you what's worth mentioning. I actually got the offer earlier on to dump my bait out there with one of the with one of the boats, obviously getting a bit friendly with the guys down here now, huge the calf and that all the time, spot on by the way. Um, but yeah, I was walking past, I went and refilled my water and all that, got the buzz bars. And he said, oh, I see you grafting yesterday, baiting all day. He said, I felt bad for you. He said, I'll help you put your bait out if you want. Um, I said, no, 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 I can't, mate. And then uh, he said, well, do you want to lift over there now? And I couldn't refuse that, so I jumped in there. the bears but yeah I thought I've got to do it right you know I could quite easily you know go see him now drop the bait some people probably watching us thinking go on tell him get it out there saves the ag but just something in here says come on carry on you don't need it do it the right way get it done and get off <laughs> hopefully <laughs> if I don't catch now and have a mare with this spot I'm gonna be dooming and wishing I would have done it <laughs> Right, we're
Oh, nice for one. Great, got no odds are absolutely sweet in that rain, but now the sun's come out, but that wind has picked up. Now the sun's come out, so did the right thing. Got a nice little lull there. There's a possibility it might get another lull in a bit, but I'm happy with them. The only thing I'm not happy with is these little buggers out here. Look, having a whale of a time. Absolutely loving life, them. Go on, seagulls, scare them off. Do me head in. Obviously on the on the little plateau we bit the humpy bit I think. Can't imagine they're going right down into the deep water then but because the mallards them. Get them! We shall see. Doctor's picked up the middle rod. It's dropped back down now. And they're all scarpered, so that'll do. So when I'm casting, it sort of draws them in. I'm confident it's a resetting rig, it'll be fine. And to be honest, the rig um, that I caught the rod that I caught the mail on yesterday got picked up by a uh, got picked up by a bird before dark, and I left it. And what happened? So might be a lucky omen. But yeah, at least the birds have gone now. You watch, tonight will be the only, moon, uh, only night I don't catch on. Big build up, big moon, all that, and then pfft, nothing. <laughs> Roman, tea all that. Right? Tea boy, always have a tea boy. Always. One sugar, two sugar, three sugar more. <laughs> Get it in ya. That's what I'm dealing with. What, <laughs> me raiding. Oh, here we go. What's going off? Zug -zug. Hey, up, it's Barry Gibson. Oh, it's Mike Gibbons. Mike Gibbons. Mike Gibbons on the mic. Oh, hold tight, stereotype. Oh. What are you saying? Barry Gibbons. I got old Mitchy boy down here, ain't I? Old Mitchy. Yeah, yeah. terrorising me. Is yeah. 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 Oh, come up, nicking his <laughs> milk <laughs> and his tin bag. He's bag. like, oh, you've took me bag out, so I put him another bag in it. Well, one off the four. And then he's uh, and then he's like, oh, I need more milk than that, and then topped it up with milk for us. Point having another bag if you're gonna put bare milk in it. It's just for taste, though, isn't it? Hopefully, this is the calm before the storm, and I don't mean a weather storm. All the swimmers, they're getting ready over there. <laughs> Mac and cheese on over there, apparently. <laughs> Bastards. Hopefully it's game on. Crocodile, old Mitch, you are. Crocodilly done dealing. <laughs> done diddly done. Oh, Let's hope so lit. Lovely. Some minted lamb steaks and a sausage cheese and there's a burger under there as well. Mm, my days. And dessert. Check that bad boy out. Mmm. Sick. And minted lamb steaks sort of next level. All served on a bucket lid. <laughs> lovely times. Here we go. This is a sicko. <sighs> Good girl. What a carp that is. That is the other brother. <laughs> um, there's a couple of known captures with that one as well. So it's definitely panic stations like it's a sick carp anyway, but tell you now. Oh, it was there, I ain't gonna lie. Especially when I see them scales roll over the uh, the cord in the uh, in the moonlight. It's only early, really. Well, I had to buy it just after nine. Um, I was uh, just getting his socks on. Wait till he sell it out until about eight o'clock ish in the waders. Obviously, because I'm I'm out in the water now, aren't I, with the rods? So I set it out till about 8 o'clock and I was getting knackered, tired, like. Let's see what I can sweep. And, um, one sec. Pull the old pants up right in my bum. Uh, yeah. I end up falling asleep and then, yeah, about, I think it's about half nine, the bite. Melted off. Good old scrap, obviously, the whole time. The big moon's sort of there. I'm thinking, 
think this is her man, she's taken a lot of wine and yeah, eventually um, got it in, it co coaxed it into the left hand side, no danger. And then, walling on the surface, I thought this sounds, a, oh, sorry, it's gone a bit blurry. I thought this sounds a good fish like. And it went on a savage run down to the right towards the rods and I thought, you know what, if it's a, just take him out, I don't care. Well, whatever fish it is, you know, if it, yeah, I don't want a hook pull. Um, and she, she went over the rods and took him out. Done me, I didn't really. But it sort of is what it is, these things happen. So, I've got them all back out there now. Fingers crossed there, fishing in the right zone. He felt good drops, you know what I mean, they're out there, but they're not. Yeah, it's always nice to be precise, isn't it? But there's a good chance she's out there. Or was. I don't know, but we shall see. But either way, I'm buzzing. Boys are coming. Only got sort of the five of the sort of original stock if you like or that that strain of the stock or I'm not too sure of the genetics and um, political side of it you know I didn't really know all the stock when I came on I still don't um, but I know there's a couple of different stockings old stockings right and obviously there's a couple of recent ones but yeah the ones I know is obviously the croc and then you've got the brother which is the one that I had the 34 um, the other brother it's another cool scaly one very similar to them three that I just mentioned and then the patch which I've already had so I've had four of the, uh, three of sorry three of the five uh, snake brother and the croc are the last two but I feel like I need this croc now like time's ticking on and if I don't get it now, then I've got to do it all again, basically, you know, because they'll all be back on the card too, you know, that patch and the other brother will be back out feeding now. That was a couple of weeks ago, so it feels like it just needs to happen now. Um, but, you know, this is my best ever fishing I've ever had, I think. You know, run a fish in autumn. And I, I've never had fishing like this, and I don't think I've ever fished this hard either. I'm proper going for it, I'm sure that comes across in these vlogs. And uh, yeah, it's been sick. Either way, whether I get her or not, it'd be beautiful to have that chair in the top, icing on the cake, or whatever you want to call it. But either way, I am buzzing. That is a sick fish in there. I've had so many sick fish now. Um, it's all a bit of a blur, and can't really remember. I'll tell you one thing: if one of them rods rips off, it's going to be squeaky bum time, just like that one was. Even more so now. I've had that other brother. Wow. Right, we'll get her out in about, probably, I'll be here in about 10 minutes, so, happy days. Thank you, lad. Check that out, no anal, no anal fin. How cool is that? But see, it's not been there either, it's just, obviously, deformity or whatever. You're not deformed at all, are you? Look at this. <laughs> I'm done living with me, I ain't gonna lie, I thought it was a big moon. Everything's been building up to it. I see a load of scales just roll, roll over the cord in the moonlight. I can't help but think I might just be a fish away. But even if not, it's been a sick autumn's fishing. I don't think it's over yet. Well behaved. Sick. As a mega carp, 31.14 it was, I think. I'm not too sure if you saw the weigh in on it, I think Joe had the camera, so. 
Yeah, 31.14. Absolutely buzzing. Right. That's pretty much them all now. Come on. <laughs> I'm tired. Bedtime. Hopefully get woken up. I'm going to say it again. Bad a crock. <laughs> well, I'm talking this one out. Nothing. Rig tying day. Phone's on a bit of a madden. Put it on silent. Put it in view though. In case you get an emergency call. From nobody. Not broken really, <laughs> but you know, still buzzing. Sick carp, you know. As long as she goes in the net in the end, this is one hell of a of a campaign. Like um, best fishing I've ever done. I'm sure I've said that. You know, best I've ever angled, best autumn, best. It's it's been the most enjoyable. I'm hoping that that sort of comes across as well. The <clears throat> the the challenges that this has created. I know that maybe people looking at it like. This is easy, you know, he's making it look easy or whatever. <coughs> it ain't. I hope that sort of comes across because it is, it's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy to do this amount of time. Um, but, yeah, it's not been an easy sort of, you know, um, it's not been easy to uh, make this happen. It's definitely been sort of created. It's a lot of hard work, you know, and I'm just saying it as it is. That's not me saying, I don't know what. I've done this and done that. <clears throat> it's just been a lot of hard work. But anyway, enough of that. Let me tell you what I'm doing. Tying some rigs, as you can see. Got the headlight on, just make things a bit easier. And I'm getting a bit old now, you know. The old cataracts are kicking in and that. <coughs> um, yeah, I am going to move into the swim to the left. Everyone's like, ah, what? No, I can still fish the same spot. Um, technically, what? Oh, I mean, people are going to hopefully probably agree with me right now. But I'm basically timing myself out in a swim. And there hasn't been anyone on at all. Now, you know, in the real world, I could probably message someone like a, the bailiff or whatever and say, oh, you know, I haven't seen anyone down here. There was one lad on, sorry, on Sunday doing an overnighter. But apart from that, I haven't seen anyone. Um, so yeah, you know, I could generally should be able to just message someone and say, you know, I haven't seen anyone down here. Do you mind me just staying in the swim, save me moving, sort of thing? But you know, I don't even want to go there. Like as to what that could create. So I'm just gonna literally move. I can fish the same spot. Recycling the rings and all that. Still got to recycle no matter what. Um, yeah, I could have got out and bait and all that. I didn't. I didn't want to. You know, he gave me a lift back over, which is happy days. Saves me walk around with water and five key bag of bait. But yeah, I don't want to because I want to do it all right in my own mind. I want to do it all right and to show, hopefully, that that's the way you can do it. More so to certain people. <laughs> you know, there's no excuses to me in my mind. You know, oh, that, you know, I had an advantage in this sense, in that sense. Um, I've done exactly what anyone else can do. Um, no matter what, yeah, I'm doing some time, but we all get seven days in a week. You know, how we choose to use them is up to us. You know, anyone can drop everything they want if they really, really wanted to. You know, you might say, oh, I've got kids, oh, I've got a job, I've got this and got that, but how we plan our lives is, is totally up to us. You know, we don't have to do anything, um, you know, unless you're in prison. <laughs> um, which some of you guys there might feel like you're in prison with some of your missus. <laughs> um, but that's just life, you know. I don't sit here dooming about Ronaldo. <laughs> I wish I could do that. It is what it is. Anyway. Let's not get too political about it. I 
I'm basically moving because I've got to as a real estate. In. No, no doing pulling strokes, no, none of this. I'm doing it legit. Hopefully I'm doing it legit. If I don't catch it, then I'm launching the dinghy, mate. I'm pulling out all the stops. <laughs> Being out of bounds. Ah. <laughs> no, let's get it done and get it done right. Well, that's the plan. <sighs> Come on. Here's a swim. And the spot is out here somewhere, which is again look slightly right out of here. Could be wrong. We have got got half the kit, well, most of the kit in there. Just got to go get back, get the broly because it is raining. Um, and then yeah, whack this marker. Come back and put the broly on top of that stuff. Get the marker float out there, which I've left up here now. Um, get the marker out, and uh, yeah, I out from there because, like I say, it's this. There's a big walk here, you see what I mean? I'm chucking well left out of here and I'm going to be well right out of there so it's like that no man's land. Um, yeah, it's that no man's land, that triangle of water between two swims that no one really attacks because, you know, unless you put a marker up, you think, bloody hell, that's deceiving, there's loads of water between us. Um, so yeah, purposely, obviously, that's why I did it. <laughs> but yeah, it's great that I can get it from another angle not having to get times out and, or try and manipulate rules and that. It's obviously a great little advantage. <laughs> Here's my swim. Um, so yeah, I'll sort of show you. This swim's weird, you see, because to look at, you think it faces all that water that I've just sort of walked from. However, with the beach <laughs> obviously this is a big windswept one but it's facing that way up the lake I'm fishing uh, so I'm fishing that way but obviously you've got the island you've got the bar here so you could you know it's endless this swims here it's gonna fish out here and like I'd say that this swims water is that you know what I mean and that all this water here um, and I'm sort of well left out of here uh, because obviously you can't move in this direction because of the swim that's, that I've just come from, you know what I mean? So it's that grey area. Um, so yeah, hopefully. Like I said, I've got the marker kit here. A few bits more kit. She's going to get whacked out. Got the post still in there to cast from and that. Might the marker out, go and line up from down there. Quit one of my rods up to it. Get a couple of drops from it that's nice. Uh, get the clip and then happily go down there. And let it up from down there and get the... I mean, I sort of know it, but... Um, yeah, get the exact wraps and the, 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 the sky wines and all that crap. Yeah, that's the plan for the day. Then I'm going to go and take all this. This is the stuff that can go back the van. Um, and get some spare supplies, have a shower. I've got rigs tied. Uh, come back, fresh day. Wind's not too kicking. Lovely times. Crocodilio Don Don Dino. <laughs> Which is friends for I'm going to catch the f crack. Where I thought it was. Have to see the birds from here. Oh, it's a bit short and right as well. Yeah, it's over there. Look. There. But it's left of that because I put it short and right slightly. So it is right out of here. Like I said, well right. But it's fishable. See ya. Yeah. Obviously, if someone wanted to go in that swim, it might be a different conversation. I can get it. 
sick. Back to Sick. All right, got it. All right, get a couple of pictures and that. Stills off my phone. I don't know what I'm working with from the bivvy and from the pole. And then we're good. Good to go. Got the wraps on this rod. Jobs are bloody good. And shower time. Oh, smell it from here. Oh, have a bit of that. <laughs> Smells of cat. Boom. Ball back. Tied directly to the swivel, not with a loop. Because I'm getting, uh, I'm getting old Gibson saying it's a big rig, but it ain't a big rig. He looped it to the swivel. He didn't use a ring swivel. He used a big bobber putty. He used it on a pop up, and he used a D whipped right up. This is a supple ball back not looped and with a ring swivel different rig new invention my rig super noodle get used to it <laughs> sick it's all about that hair that is what i would say is the main part and that swivel and swivels are sick size 11. doing bits Right, put two, two more out accurate, two more out accurately, and then um, get the rods out in a little bit, not right now, um, but yeah, in a little bit, and then maybe pop four or five over the top as well. Sick! Zoom in. Basically, Don't know what the angle is going to be from here, but I'm going to want. Let's see if I can do this with a nice little twig. See how pro I am. Yeah, so I'm going to have a rod in the middle of that gap there. Boom, straight down in that deep V. Yeah, one in this little V that's halfway up this uh, slope there, and then one just here. It's going to be tight. One there, one there, one there. Three rigs. the take um but yeah i want the boat at the back of the spot against the tension then kite when i pick them up and then lines are nice and free <laughs> lovely times lovely the left under that was tight left of that big V. I reckon I can get another one, another two to the right of that. That's the middle. <laughs> Wow, first shot, bang, that's the bike, that's the rod, that cracked like sick, Woo. wow, That couldn't have gone any 
better. Oh. I weave it a little bit and uh, yeah, put a few bombs over the top of them. But I'm hoping you got to see how tight they went. Um, and I'm hoping you can hear me out there. I don't even know. I'm going to watch his back. Otherwise, I'm just going to be like, like a bad Chinese movie. <laughs> I'll take the time to show you. Basically, I've got to live in my waders, obviously. I haven't got to be that quick on my rods, but... Second, let me pull them up. Well, it's always nice to be, isn't it? Like I said earlier, slack clutches and all that carry on. But yeah, obviously, because I've got the tips down, right down, to combat the wind, the weed, the sediment, as we've already said. Look at the old crop there, good be. Um, yeah, because I've got the tips right down, obviously, if I was to get a bite, they're just going to hover. So I've just got the strap on here. This is just a little strap, um, like a pull cord one with a push button. So, yeah, it just stops the rods from being able to lift up. On the mean day, that ain't lifting for nothing. It'll hang there and I can deal with the fish. Happy days. Mm-hmm. So then, just tying up some super noodles. <laughs> now I keep I know I keep banging on about this rig, but trust me, it really is doing the do. Like I say, I will be using it with a noodle kicker once um once, once I'm um, away from crayfish, but let's have a look what we got here. Oh, look at this! This is getting a bit special. I've got headlight on because I always do when I'm in the bivy. Um, so yeah, obviously this is the old recoil, um, and then I'm just using cam stiff and then just stripping back, literally um, a little bit just to make that. Um, hair with, and then I'm putting a ring on, rig ring, um, you know, down um, there. <laughs> That's a technical term. Rig ring there, hair there. The hair I, I extend with a, with a piece of um, that tint link uh, just to, to bob. I'll actually show you all that process, yeah? So, got my hook. These are a new, uh, these are a new hook from um, Finger Anglers. Um, Oh yeah, it's the same as the curve point, but in a thicker wire gauge. I think they're calling them like the Conti. I'm not too sure if they'll be out by the time you guys look at this, but it's the exact same shape, just a thicker wire, nice and strong, size four. I think they got them in twos and threes as well. So yeah, literally all I'm doing, obviously you guys are in reverse, but just put it through so the hair sits down the back. Put the rig ring through like that. Sit that above the barb where I usually would. Yeah, sorry, I just keep checking this camera to make sure you guys can see it. Yeah, like that. Hold that, and then I'm going to wind, usually I wind that way. Yeah, but I'm not going to wind that way. I'm going to wind backwards. Only one turn all the way around, and then back through the eye. Sorry, I'll just keep this in uh, focus now with the light. So yeah, nice and fixed. Leave that like that. Set that uh, ring so it's sitting flush. Size down the back. Nice. Very good. Very nice. Then what I'm going to do? Move that hair out the way. Move the suppleness, supple, suppleness, supple stuff out the way. Cam stiff. Um, put the recoil through, and then just rest it down the back. And then this way it might get a little bit complicated. Well, especially for me because. I've got to um, got to do it. Not the, uh, I've got to try and keep it in shot. So yeah. <laughs> right. So I'm gonna wrap this one three times around. Yeah, keeping this out the way. Yeah, keep pulling out of the way if it goes with your turns. Two, three, and then as you come back up for the fourth, I'm gonna go back down through like so. Get that out of the way. So that's coming out the back like that. Boom. Lovely times, then I've got that, yeah. And then what I do is I just cut this to about eight mil. 
<laughs> very precise let me get me lighter sorry if I'm in shot yeah so get that to 8 mil fold that back out the way cover it up with your fingers burn and bob that down just so it doesn't come out yeah I mean the, the, the knot on that's got it anyway and then literally I've been leaving these tag ends on these for now of the for, of the uh, the, the uh, recoil until I've tied that rig on and then pulled it tight and got it all nice and tight onto the swivel that's this end um, I, I'll leave that on and then once everything's pulled tight I'll cut it right down so that won't be there when you're fishing um, so imagine that's not there and you've just got your supple hair and your recoil and you obviously shape it um, what I'll do is I'll sh quickly show you how I um, do the extended hair and anyone who's doing cray bits this is a massive massive edge for keeping your bait on one second gonna need some hook baits alright so I've been using little uh, edgy dumbbells same core as the uh, manila which is um, have I got any? nope right I'll tell you what I'll just do it with this yellow one here there's a yellow one, boom. Yeah, but I've been using the cream ones, but they're the same, just a different colour, aren't they? Oh, sugar. Oh, God. Oh, it's always having a mare. So, um, can, uh, where's that? Tink link, tink link. So, boom, literally, just a little bit of tink link, only enough for an extended hair. So what I've been doing with this one, imagine that isn't there, remember? That, um, that, that recoil. Yeah, so you know what? I'm gonna pull it tight with my teeth and then I can cut it off. There we go. And then I've been cutting it literally right down. Don't worry, it ain't gonna slip. Yeah? Right, right down there, like that. So it's not even there. Yeah? Boom. Right, now recoil. Recoil? No, tink link even. Alright, don't need that much do put it through the hair like that through the ring in the hair and literally just granny knot overhand granny knot so you're tying that to there boom like that get them two tags facing this way because that's where your bait's gonna go on so you've effectively just granny knotted some tint link there then I'm gonna get the baiting needle sorry Try not to turn away, but what? This is a TA raw bait. So yeah, I'll put the um, put this through the dumbbell, bait and needle, straight through, or any bait, whatever bait you want, but I'd suggest using rubber. I love using that word, don't I, today? You've got four bits of um, tink link coming through, haven't you, yeah? There you go, leave them hanging out, now this is where the magic happens. Alright, so what I do is I cut them down out of this end, so you've got four pieces going through there, cut them down, leave about about five, just a few mil, pull them out, the, pull the hair out of the way, and you've still got the little tag ends there, yeah, I don't know what you guys can see, I'm sure you can see it, and then you want to burn them down flat like that, and then flatten it with the lighter like that so that's trapped it that way back though you know what I mean and that's when it starts to stink flatten that down and then what I do so effectively you trapped it this side trapped it that side literally you can't even pull that off with your fingers I'm not going to try because it will uh, adjust it but yeah let me show you this last little edge if you have burnt it when you smell it I hate the smell of burn so get your little file yeah this isn't trying to plug anything you just file the top of that plastic off yeah so you'll see now that it's gone clear again give it a little lick get that little bit of black off there just so it's nice and you know you can't smell that burn because I hate the smell of that and then literally that is it you know that's how I'm cray proofing this this is all cray proof 
as soon as they get this, these are unscented. I'm not scenting them for that reason because they get attracted to it. So yeah, just rubber. They have a go on it. They can't get it. They know they can't, and they just leave it alone. Happy day. So that's how I'm putting my baits on, and then obviously. You know how to do this other end bit. It's just tie it straight to a swivel and you get that flippy, flippy, dippy, dippy. Sickle! Uh huh. This, sorry, actually, let's just add this, yeah. So if it were a D, yeah, so the reason this works so well, the swivel gives it the flip. Let me try and hook this in here, yeah. So basically, when it gets spat out the fish's mouth, imagine that's the lip. What will happen is this will come over and actually put down weight down onto the hook point. Whereas when you've got a little D on the back, the bait just carries the back of the hook and pulls it out, travels, the hook bait travels, the hook makes it travel. Whereas this, it slides, it's got that little buffer and bang, puts it down onto the hook point. Um, I'll never use a D again. Um, I will use my hinges like this. So if it was popped up, I'd have a supple hair. I would definitely have it tighter than that, than the bottom bait. Yeah, because the, the bottom bait's got a lot more weight. So I like to give it that little bit of give so when it gets fired back, let's do that again, gets fired back and then it comes out, it's got all this travel to slow down with this little buffer of blowback, yeah. But with the pop-up, um, it's that little bit lighter, so you need it that little bit tighter in my opinion, so it'll be like that, but obviously popped up, sat like this. But yeah, the sub will there, so when it blows it out, it'll go down like that as opposed to wah. And that's it, sicko. <sighs> that's right now. Um, I'll tell you what I haven't said or what you guys might not notice I might have I haven't actually seen a carp show on this spot yet I don't think I have heard them a couple of weeks back didn't I from over the other side when I was doing the baiting and getting it going and oh, shut up sorry um, yeah I'd, uh, heard them a couple of weeks ago from over there but yeah, not been hearing them but the winds have been savaging that and to be honest since I've bunkered down I've not really been looking or listening um, basically because I don't want tempting into moving somewhere else I've just got to dig in and carry on so but yeah um, obviously I've been looking in the morning and the evenings like I am now but I've not actually seen anything show here it's like they're just turning up and eating happy days bring it on I'm up for that <laughs> but um yeah, I just uh, had a bit of a vision of one just booming its head out in that nice big V of mine there. Um, big, long one with a massive head on it. Um, hopefully. <laughs> Ooh, can't help but think there's a bite on the cards in the next few hours. So between now and that 9 o'clock period. <sighs> Come on. We've got the crocodile. You've got the crocodile. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm just keeping quiet for a minute because I want to get her in the retainer and then it's absolutely game on. Oh, f it, mate. Oh. Get her on the mat, but. Oh yeah, it's a... Oh, sick. So sick. <laughs> yes. Them telltale little white bits on the tail. I've got you, girl. Let's have a look. <sighs> oh yeah, look at that god boy. She was going nowhere. Look at that. Look at that. She was double hooked. Wow. Look at that gob. Wow. Your end in there, you? Mate, that is massive. So big. Look at that. Look at that. You know what I mean? Oh, good girl. Right. Let's get her. Because he's dragging that out, mate. Horus. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just watch her. Nearly, nearly re upped her. She loved that rig. Look, do you want to come over my shoulder? 
looking over my shoulder. No, I'm just going to get around the about weight. Yeah. Steady underneath, mate. No. That's no, alright. Stored it on us. It's about 46, 47. It's about 46. We'll do proper weight in a bit. Get rid of this retainer. Look at it. Mate. Get that on camera. Oh my god. Move that retainer, lad. Good girl. Good girl. Look at the size of him, man. Oh, I'm blown away. I need a brew. Right. Zip that. Zip it, clip it, double back grin and not it. Everything. Yeah, man, she's good. Right. Oh. Right. Here she goes. Ding. Ding. Hello. You alright, Mum? I am. Got it. Please, have you weighed right. it yet? Yeah, it's about 46 pounds. Yeah? Yeah, Fair yeah. Enough. I will send some pics in the group and that in a bit, yeah. I thought when I'd let you, you know. When did you catch it? Because oh. I was just at, uh, with George mm -hmm. about oh, an hour, an hour, over an hour ago. Don't know. And I was telling George and Phyllis and all of them then, didn't you, after this one? So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably about, probably about an hour ago. Yeah, but, um, must have yeah. been when I was talking. <laughs> there you go. All right then, Mother, I'll give you a ring in yes. a bit. Alright. Alright. Love you. Bye. 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 that. Written in the stars tonight, wouldn't it be? Yeah. Written in the stars tonight. Sick. <laughs> Eggy lid. Barry, I've got, I've got you in, uh, I've got you in full view. Yeah, this has been the best rudder fishing on my It's mega, life. lad. Honestly, it's a bit ironic. This is a swim that I got suspended on uh, from, so I'm going to rename it the suspension the swim. Suspension. Is that all right with you? Get the suspension swim right in it? and done <laughs> lit. Yeah. Get the dog. Oh, get the boy. f***ing dog. 19 bites. So she's on. <laughs> a few beers now. No, Tea, Lloyd's on the tees, I'm obviously. Fucking, I'm sober, man. 58 days straight. I'm going to put that away. Go on, Lloyd. Get them dogs. <laughs> we'll weigh her off first. Get that done. This cart, man. Wait till you see this cart, boy. You've never seen anything like it, I swear to God, mate. Proper jet up. <laughs> Look at that. Come on, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Right. There's a little bit of a Yeah. Okay. Did you win? Look at it. <laughs> Look at the gun on it, lad. It's massive. It's huge. It's huge. Come on, yeah. It's the same length as.
Sling man. <laughs> Where's the pole? There's a pole. Yeah, yeah then, Barry. You suit? Yeah, mate. Uh, what you saying? <laughs> He's definitely over mid 40. Yeah. yeah. See you 45. Two. <laughs> Get in there, boys! Sick. Well, well done, in, Hobo! Awesome! Wow, let's have some yes, water on it, mate. Let's have some water on it, boy. Have this retainer. Dan. Oh my god, the lucky thing is. Both to this side. If I'm mm. on your shoulder, I can do it. Taking this side. You're happy, Dan? Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah bang. You're not the same one. one. You're the same one. Yeah, yeah. 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 What if you want to swap it, you want? Alright, let's get a bit of lift and I'll go back and go on wide. Alright. Go on, Lloyd, out of the way then. Yeah? Let's have it. Have it, Lloyd. Ready, Danny boy? Yeah. Grab the stills there, Joel. Wah! Get up. I'll swap it, I'll swap it then, Dan, yeah. Oh, look at that crispy tail. Yes, Lloyd. Sick. Tail up, Dan, is it right? There's big spikes on its tail, look. Good on, man. What a car, this is. What a Sick fish, isn't it? Wow. Hold on, it, mate. That's not the last kiss you're getting, girl. It's <laughs> a big leech on the side of it. Mm. Happy that. I need to fly down. Hey, yeah. I cannot get yeah. over this gob. Don't put the leech on it. That's not that. A little barber, really. Right? Some yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's get a couple just I'll do a nice little bit of chatting out in a bit, Dan. A bit. Tell you all about how the crocodile little stuff. <laughs> Ready, Joe? Yes, mate. See, look how Taylor. well behaved she is. The head's so heavy, man. It's huge, isn't wow. it? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so heavy. What's <laughs> <laughs> it saying, Joe? Yeah, mate. Happy with her? Level yeah. on that, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Come on, boy. Yes, Lloyd, <laughs> come on, pump them up, man. Need arms like Mitch's. Yeah, good and show. Two tickets. Still with that oh, legs. That head is so heavy. Wow. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Bit more water on it, boy. Ah, uh, brother. Yes, Lloyd. Let me get in there for a bit. Oh, you oh what? Come come on. On. <laughs> Is it this oh, one, Dan? Is that better? Yeah, Mitch, if you want, mate. Is that better? That's better. Yeah? Happy Dan? Look at that. Nice little look, mate. Yeah. Still got sound, mate. Yeah. Don't oh. worry about me, you just let me put it says that way. Yes, okay. Lloyd. That's an impressive car. You're going too low, Scott. I almost lost sound then. Yeah. Sorry, mate. Go on, Joe, mate. <laughs> look at that gob. Look at it. Look at that gob. Why are we doing it, boys? Let's have we do it, mate. Let's have a Lloyd Brothers roll. Fish <laughs> number 18, lad. Go on, lad. He's had nothing. Come on, girl. <laughs> nothing he said. <laughs> Get a picture of his shoulders, right? Look at that. Get in. Go on, girl. Get done. Get in. Yes, boy! Yes, boy. <laughs> oh, sick, sick. Oh, boy. Nice one, boys. Oh, boys, big up, man. Wow. A moment alone. 
<laughs> My voice is gone from shouting. Mental, mental. The croc. I've done it. Yes. Honestly, I worked. I hope it comes across. I obviously didn't shoot as much as I would have liked to a shot. Um, I was doing a lot of it, so I, I wouldn't say sneak away, but I knew I didn't have sort of full permissions to do, um, you know, proper filming. So I just felt all, uh, to shot a lot of it, sort of amateur, um, and I didn't shoot so much of it. But hopefully, you sort of caught enough of the picture as to. What I was up to and how it all came together really to show uh, show you guys what I, what I got up to and how much it meant to me. Um, you know, uh, with business and with Think Foods and all that, it's so busy, hardly any fishing. Guys that watch these vlogs all the time know that I haven't been putting any out because I haven't been fishing you know but that fish pulled me away from everything I knew I had to get back fishing I was doing a lot of drinking because I was working so just sort of fell back into that crowd uh, of drinking regularly and that habit and I had a, it was actually wild boar, Mr. Daniel, I had a big chat with him and he was got me cheered up for fishing again and the croc you know, you know we're talking it's the best and the age of it and all that carry on so got me buzzed up for it got my ass back down there obviously got suspended for bull reasons and we won't go into because I don't want to sell at the moment but if anything it was a blessing in disguise because it made me work ten times as hard made me put in that extra mile um, so it was literally a blessing in disguise and it made me done and I've caught the croc and you know what I'm driving straight to Dinton right now because I don't want to wake up without a brew and awake in front of me I want to soak it up I didn't want to do it on there I'm done I've packed up I'm on my way to Dinton I'm gonna drop onto Black Swan because that's where I'm tackling next I'm not gonna go full ball uh, but that's what I'm gonna do over the winter and what have you and probably all year next year might have a little venture to Stone Acres, but who knows? That's what fishing, that's what's good about fishing. It can take you anywhere. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm heading to Dinton. Um, I am gonna walk around, I'm keen, I'm, I'm on fire, I'm, you know what I mean? I feel buzzing, so I'm gonna have a mooch, and if I hear them, I'll be getting some rods out, don't you worry, but the main plan is to just get somewhere, get the movie up, get a brew on, and then get up at first light. And uh, yeah, old Miles is over here, Gibson. And um, yeah, go and see him, have a chat with him, and yeah, just soak it all up. But yeah, I hope, I hope that you've enjoyed this set of vlogs. Eggy lad's back, and uh, wow, that is without a doubt, over all my fishing I've ever done, from Stone Acres to Burfield and all that, that is without a doubt, the best fishing I have ever done. Like, that is the hardest and the best run of fishing I've had, you know. I've probably worked as hard on other campaigns, but it's never come together like that. To, to, to get away with it all like I did, and uh, it just all, everything aligned. Eggy out. Ah.